Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase have the NFL looking like Louisiana. I'm Robin Lundberg here with Ashley Nicole Moss. And Ashley, you know, the, don't look now, but the Bengals are the number one seed in the AFC at this moment. I don't know if that's going to hold up after their blowout win against the Ravens, but I would say Burrow and company have sort of changed the identity of the team. You know, they, I guess you, new stripes for the Bengals, if you will, because that win over the, the Ravens falls under the definition of, of a statement one. The stripes pun was just unnecessary, but I appreciate the effort. Yeah, I mean, look, Joe Burrow has found his swagger, and that's what you want in your quarterback, right? You want someone who's confident. You want someone who doesn't let the lack or the holes of the, in the team, rather, affect the way that he plays the game. And that's one thing you have to love about Joe Burrow. Love him or hate him, you have to respect the fact that he goes out there every single game and he plays, and he believes that he can win, and he believes that this team can win. And it's just in his body language, it's in, in the fact that he's calm, cool, and collective so many times, especially in the face of not having the best offensive line. He takes a lot of hits, but that doesn't stop him from making plays. And look, this team kind of put the league on notice when they went into overtime with the Green Bay Packers toe-to-toe -to -toe with Aaron Rodgers, one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL and one of the best quarterbacks in the history of the sport. That says a lot about this team, and it says a lot about their coaching, and it says a lot about their leader, Joe Burrow. Yeah, I think Bengals fans right now are, are making like that Joe Burrow meme, right? They, they got that cigar in their mouth on this Monday morning.